Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, go ahead and get out your King James Bibles. This is going to be a short video. But 2 Timothy 2.15. Some of you had this already memorized, which is great. Um, but before I get into this, I want to ask, brothers and Christ, are you starting your day with the Word of God and are you ending your day with the Word of God? How are you guys doing? This is what this video is about, mainly just to put it out there. We're going to start doing some more... Um, I haven't done a question and answer series of videos in a while. So that's what this video is going to be, but it's also, I'm just throwing this out there, Brothers of Christ, if you go to, I can still put the information underneath this video, but if you go to the description of the, the YouTube channel description, uh, there's a P.O. box, you can write to me, and I can hear how you guys are doing, how your walk with the Lord's going, uh, prayer requests, um, and then there's the, uh, what is it, uh, email address. The uh, ministry email address, prayerandtestimonies2018 at outlook.com. Like I said, I'll put it in the comment section. But I don't hear from the brethren as much lately. So I just wanted to throw this video out there to get back into, you know, a somewhat of a fellowship. And what we're going to do is, is turn to 2 Timothy 2.15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing. That's how we study. We rightly divide. Flip over to chapter 13, verse 16. It says, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. We are commanded, men of ministry are commanded to preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long-suffering and doctrine, for the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but their own, after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and shall be turned from the truth and be turned unto fables. I hope I got that 100% correct. You can always correct me in the correct comment section. But the whole point of doing this series of studies is if you guys have some Bible questions and you want to throw it my way, um, do it in the comment section and we'll try to do a series of videos where I'm just going to try to do my best the answer, I'll either say I don't know, and I'll look into it. Um, I'll, I'll say, oh, look, this is what God showed me. And there's been times where I said, hey, this brother in Christ, I, I could do a teaching on it, but this brother in Christ over here has done a way better teaching than I could. And I'll link you to somebody, a brother in Christ, that God has shown him, and he did a good, thorough uh, uh, video study on that question that you asked. So... The answers you're going to get from me is, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll have to look into that. I've had to do that. There's sometimes you guys, brothers of Christ, have asked me questions that are like, I've never even thought to ask that question. And i got to get into the scriptures and start studying and say, okay, Lord, what does your word say about this? What does your word say about that? And there's times where brethren will ask questions. So I was like, oh yeah, we did a study on that and we'll talk about it again. And we'll go through the scriptures again. Brothers of Christ, are you starting your day with this word? Are you ending your day with this word? Praying without ceasing. I love talking about God's word. I really do. So just like I said, a short video to say, okay, if you've got some questions you want to ask, Bible questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And... Uh, I want to end this with two things. First thing I want to end this with is Proverbs. If you still got your King James Bibles open, turn to Proverbs 23, 23. That should be easy to memorize, but I have a hard time with addresses. I know some people who can do addresses really good, but they, they, they mess up the passage. Then I know people like me that they, they know the passage really well, but they have a problem with the address. So Proverbs, i got to remember this. This is one of your memory verses. Proverbs 23, 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. And we always stop there, but we need to learn the rest. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. And that's what this is, Brothers of Christ. Just us going back and forth with questions and going through the scriptures and finding the answers so that we can have wisdom. Remember what real wisdom is. Fearing, so we can fear God, seek out His Word, and that's what we're doing together, seeking out His Word, so we can hide it in our heart and live it. The three parts to wisdom. Fear God. Seek the Lord why He may be found. That's the second part. Seek the Lord why He may be found. Call upon Him while He's near, but seek the Lord why He may be found. You seek out His Word, His way, and then you hide it in your heart and you live it. That's the three parts to wisdom. Also wisdom. We're trying to buy wisdom. Okay? And instruction. 
Not just truth, but wisdom. Instruction, once again, how we're supposed to do things. And understanding. That's what I pray for a lot. There's sometimes I don't get what's going on in the world. I Sometimes I don't get there for a while. I didn't get what's going on in the body of Christ. I've always talked about how in these last days, brothers of Christ, the body of Christ is not in a good condition. But I keep praying for the body of Christ. I know brethren keep praying for me. And I'm praying for understanding. And God shows me, okay, we're in the last days. And God said this was going to happen in the last days. Why do people do this? Well, because they don't want the truth. They, don't, they won't buy the truth. And the, then there's people that say, well, yeah, I might, I'll, I'll try the truth. And then after a while, they'll sell it. Now, I've got a study coming up that we're going to do on buy the truth and sell it not. But this is just a video, Brothers of Christ. If you've got some Bible questions, because there's times where God puts studies on my heart, and I love preaching the Word of God. I love talking about the Word of God. i got brethren I get to fellowship with and do expository studies with um, throughout the week on top of putting out Bible study videos. And I'm, I'm, the Lord's really blessed me uh, with having, you know, spending a lot of time in the Word of God all week. Um, and I, like I said, there's times where I get to preach with God, I gotta get back on focus. There's a time where I get to preaching where God puts things on my heart, says, hey, preach this. But there are some brethren out there, you, my brother, says Christ, that says, well, he's really never talked about this, and I don't think he's ever talked about that. And it's been gnawing at your heart, saying, Lord, you have these questions and these Bible topics. Let's, let's hit them up, okay? If something's really put pressure in your heart and you have a question, uh, please ask in the comment section. If you don't feel comfortable asking in the comment section, because you know you have your that that you know everyone's against each other on YouTube and, and if I ask a question you know what if the guys that I'm part of over here see me ask that question there's the email ask the email ask me through the email and I'll put out the uh, a little video trying to see answer as best I can but like I said sometimes there's answers that you don't get you'll get from me sometimes but you don't get from a lot of uh, I call them hirelings but sometimes they're men that get puffed up that I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to look into. I really don't know. Especially if you start asking me questions about other dispensations. <laughs> you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, the day of the Lord, Satan's let, the, the time period where Satan's let loose for a season, uh, sometimes the Old Testament. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, but there's times where I'll be like, is this a little bit over my head? I'm just going to have to, you know, look into a little bit more and pray for Pray to God for answers. Remember, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally, and if not, it shall be given to you. I'll have to ask God for, for wisdom. Sometimes I'll seek out other brethren for help, trying to figure out some things. But, if you, like I said, if for whatever reason, if it's politics, if it has to do with social, you know, your social standing in club, and you're worried about people seeing you under my channel asking a question, you can always email the ministry and ask a Bible question. Okay, a Bible topic question. And that's what this is all about. If you got some questions, hit me up with it, brothers and sisters of Christ. If not, I pray that you're staying in this book again. I'll say it again. That you're starting your day with the, your, the Word of God in prayer. And you're ending the day with the Word of God in prayer. King David said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Thy words are pure words, therefore thy servant loved it. And one of the verses I don't have quite memorized, but it talks about... Thy servant loveth thy commandments, and I'm probably messing that part up, but it says he, he meditated on them both day and night. You're supposed to meditate on God's word day and night. See, I am still, I'm still a student in the Bible, and I'm still trying to work on memorization. But start your day with the word of God, end your day with the word of God. Keep praying for your brothers and sisters in Christ, and please, please don't fall into the trap of just saying, I love you, brothers and sisters in Christ, with your words but fall in the trap of your deeds of not really loving the brothers and sisters of Christ with your deeds. Be willing to spend some time with brethren. Sacrifice your time with brethren. Helping brethren out. Exhort brethren through the scriptures. This is the number way to exhort people. Right here. Not with man's words. Not with world's wisdom. Not with philosophy. You know. Right here. And this is what I want to encourage you. If you don't answer your questions, that's asking any questions, that's fine. Maybe you don't have questions right now. But stay in God's Word, stay in prayer, and keep praying for me, brothers and sisters Christ, as I try my best to serve the Lord. And 
for all the men that are in ministry to doing their best to serve the Lord. Right? And I want to end this with grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.